his face and off the top and he took a nasty fall on his head. Oh my. <laughs> Challenge match and a magnificent opportunity for the Spot Monkeys. First time together as a team in Galley tonight. And they could make a huge impression if they can beat the Galley Champion GPA and one of the top 10 ranked competitors in this company perpetually throughout the past easily five to eight years, Mason Conrad. what exactly is a spot monkey and then how does that translate in terms of their match well there is this is their debut as a team they rely on double team moves and striking they move very quickly in the ring they use very innovative offense they like to do their offense as a duo and what they do has a lot of high impact a lot of quickness whether they attack at the same time with their feet, with their forearms, with dives, with splashes, that's what they gravitate towards. And Mason Conrad twisting Brad Kevins into all sorts of different uncomfortable positions. And in this matchup, you got Mason Conrad with all of that grappling skill and ground and pound offense. Yeah! And I think in, as far as an enforcer in the ring, as far as a tag team wrestler, him and GPA have proven themselves in galley time and time again against the Revolution. As a matter of fact, when they have wrestled the Revolution as a team, they have been winners so often. And this is one of the most beloved duos in all of galley right now. And they continue to do magnificent things in the ring. Now, JPA has an impending singles championship match against Guy Day Sr., the Galley Classic champion at Galley Mania. But tonight, it's the challenge that he accepted, of course. As a singles champion, everybody wants a shot at the title. But in tag team ranks, Mason and JPA have ruled that scene as well. And a victory here would continue to propel them towards a future tag team title shot, maybe against their own allies, Las Furias, in the future. Mason Conrad so quick with his reversals, and GPA is the ideal partner for Mason because they complement each other so well in this ring. take advantage, but Kevin's powers out quickly. In other Midwest Pro Wrestling organizations, the Spot Monkeys have won tag team title gold. They are a top ranked tag team in the Midwest. And a tag made of the freshman, Romero has, this is his first time in the ring tonight. And he's up against GPA right now. The Galley and Underground Wrestling Champion. GPA with a beautiful cartwheel gets out of it. I think
think the Spot Monkeys might have met their match. I think GPA and Mason might steal their name from right under their moniker. Collectively, very influential. We've got great cruiserweight action throughout the evening and afternoon. As GPA keeps Alex Romero close to the double team atomic drop. Drop kick puts Romero down, and the knee drop by GPA on top of it. And a two count there. So many times. Have made mention that the galley allies are weak, that they are not the best in the world, that they are the best. And GPA and Mason refuse to allow the revolution to make that claim. And the Spot Monkeys have been waiting a long period of time to enter the galley ring, and this could not be a greater opportunity than tonight to not only be winners but to be successful. Drop down through the legs. He slid between the legs of Mason, trying to roll him up from behind. And Romero and both men deliver a hip toss. Both men cartwheel at the same time. Picture perfect synchronization. Synchronization with a double team drop kick. Fan favorites all over this tag team bout as the fans definitely respect the abilities of all four athletes. Kevin's with a double axe handle does some damage to Mason's left arm. And Brad Kevin's is known for his creative counters, reversals, flying body attacks. Very cat-like in the ring. And since his debut years ago, he has opened so many eyes, and a lot of nationwide companies are keeping their eyes peeled on not just Brad Kevin's, but all of these participants in this tag team match. Continues to put pressure on Mason's left arm and wrist. Kevin's with the snapmare takeover. The punting kick to the chest. The standing moonsault press. And Mason powers out of it. Brad Kevin's, Alex Romero, they have trained together in the past. They have extensive history wrestling with each other and against each other. Lots of noise made across the galley arena for this tag team edge. Oh, Kevin's taking a cheap shot, pulling the hair of Mason down, and it looks to me as though the spot monkeys were hoping to steal this match away from the galley allies. The referee distracted by Kevin's and the argument, but Kevin's was blatantly choking Mason with the shin of his left boot. Romero also very familiar with MMA styles of competition. He has practiced his Muay Thai, his karate, his judo, his striking, his jiu-jitsu. And you know, Mason can also throw some hard-hitting right hands, too. Kevin's literally walked it himself out of the ring. That was a mistake. Wow, GPA got yanked down by Kevin's at the last minute. Mason did not make the tag. Mason know what happened. Oh, the collision. Knee smash. And the tag. From the clothesline. Great shots by TPA. The spot monkeys fall, but they keep getting up. Double flatliner. TPA wants to take flight. targets. Nice! Double cross body block and almost got 
bottom right there. the shoulder up. This isn't over yet. Back and forth action. The spot monkeys know this could be one and done for them tonight. They have to win and win at all costs. Into the corner goes Romero. Mason runs in with the knee smash. GPA with the big pick up. Kevin's pushes Mason off the top Took a nasty fall on his head. Oh my! One blower. GPA's been hurt. Could this be the end? This would be shocking. Romero to the top, but he got tripped down. Somehow, Kevin's could not maintain a grasp of GPA. And Mason with the standing sabotage. 